sell power to, to retail uh, buyers is on a relatively short-term basis, three years or less. So because of that, those serving entities really don't have much incentive to purchase SREP longer than three years. Now, when the program got started, um, there was a relatively large disconnect, and there still is, in that developers who want to sell long-term deals for financing purposes. Those serving entities, they don't want to purchase credits more than three years in general. So we deal with all the loan serving entities, and when I go to them with an opportunity to say five or seven years, they'll say, which, you know, I know the price looks good, but, you know, if I go to my boss to get approval on this, he's going to say, well, why, do, why do we want to purchase this longer than three years? Why do we want more length and more risk than we're absolutely required to? So um, the risk management uh, groups within the security <coughs> energy companies, um, you know, like any good risk management group, really ask these questions of why do we need to purchase that stress longer than what's absolutely required. Now, in the trading market, we like to say that anyone will buy something for twice, eight twice. So if we have an SREC contract for several hundred dollars per year for the first three years, and we go to a load serving entity and, and say, would you like to buy years four through seven for $10 an SREC? Of course, they'll say, yeah, sure, I'll do that. But at the prices that make sense from a financing standpoint, it, it, it's difficult, it's a challenge. Um, now that being said, with that disconnect that's been in the marketplace, it, it obviously hasn't been enough of a disconnect to still spur quite a bit of development activity. And, and we're at a stage now where we really are, are in an oversupply situation.